Hey guys, it's Nat, and I'm sitting here today because I got a project from my bio teacher, Dr. Goodman, and hey, Dr. Goodman. Basically, the project was asking us to explore genetic engineering. I wasn't too excited about this to begin with, but honestly, the more I looked into it, and the more I found out about venomous cabbage, I started finding this much more interesting. If you would like to know how genetic engineering could possibly be interesting, and if you would like me to explain venomous cabbage to you, because come on. That was a pretty interesting thing if I went to an intro. Let's get real. Just stay tuned. We'll talk about it, I promise. So to understand more about genetic engineering, we should find out what it actually is. Genetic engineering is a way of making sure that a certain allele increases its frequency in a certain organism. An allele is basically a gene that arises by mutation. Genetic engineering usually involves recombinant DNA. And recombinant DNA is made by connecting or splicing and recombining fragments of DNA. There's a lot of differing opinions and scandals surrounding the whole issue of genetically modified organisms. In 38 different countries, GMOs have actually been completely illegalized. Algeria, Madagascar, Turkey. Because making a genetically modified organism requires splicing a gene and inserting a new gene from a different organism, Maris, Peru, Venezuela, Ecuador. that means it could lead to possible allergic reactions Kazakhstan, Bhutan, Saudi Arabia. by the user or consumer of the product because Wales, Scotland, Northern Ireland, Malta. GMOs aren't labeled. Cyprus, Greece, Bulgaria, Russia, Serbia. Which is a completely different topic entirely. GMO labeling, we won't get into that today. Lithuania, Austria. Very little testing has been done on genetically modified foods so far. Poland, Slovenia, Azerbaijan. But the FDA says that genetically modified organisms don't pose any bigger safety issues Bosnia and Herzegovina. than traditionally grown plant items. <laughs> Luxembourg, the Ukraine, Norway, and Switzerland. Remember how I brought up venomous cabbage? Venomous cabbage is made when they take a gene from scorpion tail that makes that scorpion poisonous and insert it into the cabbage. This doesn't actually make it unsafe for humans to eat, which is interesting, but true. But there is always the problem of cross-pollination. Cross-pollination is something that we should talk about. That's a thing, okay? It's a thing. Basically, pollen from plants that are genetically modified, such as the scorpion venomous cabbage, or other different genetically modified organisms that have the same effect of being able to defend themselves from certain insects or weeds, that pollen can spread across to other organisms. It can make them have similar effects. This leads to the creation of super weeds, people that don't react to herbicides anymore because now they're immune because you made it so. But if your plant can defend itself naturally and you don't have to rely on herbicides and insecticides, then that plant's going to thrive on its own, which is great. It's cost efficient and it requires a lot less labor, so there's always those things too. Of course, there are still some people like Bill and I who argue that when it comes to nature, we should leave it to nature. GMOs could also, of course, have other unforeseen outcomes on our environment as a whole. As far as my opinion on the matter, I think that GMOs should really just be labeled so that people can decide for themselves what they want to eat and what they want to stay away from. Um, honestly, I think everyone has the right to know what is in their food, and everyone has the right to know what is going into their bodies. Um, that kind of just seems like a basic human rights thing to me. Of course, I know other people have differing opinions saying that labeling GMOs would be anti-scientific and yada yada yada, but in reality, if it's as safe as you think it is, or it's as safe as you say it is, then what's the problem? Maybe there are certain lines that we shouldn't cross when it comes to science. However, I do think it's an interesting concept. Obviously, a lot of work was put into it, and it was a big innovation in this world. Science is kind of cool, kind of awesome, and this is one of those things that we came across, luckily, and it's, um... Maybe we took it a step too far. However, that is just my opinion, and honestly, um, you can leave your opinion for me in the comments down below. Go ahead. I would love to hear about it. I would love to argue with you about it. Let's do it. Last but not least, make sure you share this video to see what kind of impact you can make on your home and community. Hello, FFA Creed. And <laughs> also to help me out on this channel. Thank you very much. And as my science teacher in seventh grade used to say, condescendingly to only me, stay out of trouble.